Nike dominates the basketball market. By showing you this chart, you may think I just answered the question posed in the video title, but I'm just scratching the surface. This is Topic Tackle. Let's go. What's good people, JC3 here, and this week in the United States is the time where brand names say thank you to all the people who will go out and spend money on their products on Black Friday. And there's also this day called Thanksgiving, which is otherwise known as the day before Black Friday, considering that all sales start on this day. <sighs> What have we become, America? Now, while I don't support utter allegiance to materialism, I do appreciate sneakers and sneaker culture as evidenced by the content I upload on this channel and especially within the basketball world. NBA athletes are not just players, but public figures who are brand endorsers and influencers in culture. One of the biggest areas we see this is in sneakers. Michael Jordan is inseparable from Jordan brand. LeBron is inseparable from Nike. You get the point. At this point, it's old news to say that Nike dominates the basketball market. The swoosh is currently in its third year of its eight-year deal with the NBA as its exclusive on-court apparel provider. And although there were some problems up front, <coughs> ripped jerseys, yep, everything has gone smoothly thus far. Now, although Nike provides NBA teams with official on-court apparel, this doesn't mean they provide every player with a shoe deal. And because NBA athletes are much more than athletes, the main question is, who is rocking the swoosh on foot and how much impact do they have on the game of basketball and the marketplace? Well, thanks to this Forbes graph, we know the answer to how many NBA players took the court in Nike and Jordan sneakers last season. This number may have reduced a little this season as a few players signed with other companies following their expired rookie contracts with Nike. Players such as D'Angelo Russell, who signed with Lee Ning, Way of Wade, and Duante Murray, who signed with New Balance, are notables. Still, how do we measure the impact of Nike's stars on basketball and the marketplace? First, what I decided to do was look up the top 25 players in the NBA according to ESPN's NBA rank and determine how many of these players are signed with Nike or Jordan. Now, there are going to be points where you and I do not agree with these player rankings, but I ain't the one who did them. I'm just trying to focus on the shoes. Looking at spots 25 through 20 all of them have a shoe deal with Nike. 20 through 16, three of five have a shoe deal with Nike and Lucas' contract just expired, so we won't count him for Nike. From 15 to 11, four of five have a shoe deal with Nike. From 10 to six, only two of five have shoe deals with Nike, so it gets a bit more diverse in this range. Finally, from five to one, three out of the five best players in the NBA have a shoe deal with Nike, and they are all signature athletes if we bump Anthony Davis out of the top five and include Kevin Durant, who's left off this list due to injury. And yes, I see that LeBron is ranked third. So disrespectful! <sighs> Who did this list? So that makes 17 out of the top 25 players in the NBA, or 68% of the top players in the world to have shoe deals with Nike or Jordan. Looking back at the overall percentage of players who took the court last season in Nike or Jordan sneakers, it comes out to 72%. That overall percentage is impressive, but it's even more impressive when you consider that Nike holds on to the best of the best, again, with 68% of the top 25 players in the NBA signed with the swoosh. Okay, let's make this a little more interesting. We know that Nike boasts the top players in the NBA as their signature athletes. But how successful were they in signing these guys out of college? Out of the top 25 players in the NBA, Nike signed 16 of them out of college, or 64%, and retained 44% of those guys, not even counting KD. Next, to measure the impact of Nike stars on basketball and the marketplace, we gotta follow the money. According to a Forbes article published on August 28, 2019, there are 14 current or former NBA stars who earn at least $9 million from shoe deals. Nike, including Jordan, has 9 of the 14 players under contract, which help it nab 86% of the U.S. basketball basketball performance market in 2019. For comparison, Under Armour has 6.9% and Adidas has 5.5%. Finally, we gotta look to the future and see how many potential stars are choosing to ride the Nike wave. Cody Taylor of The Rookie Wire, a part of USA Today Sports, published an article tracking every NBA rookie shoe deal from first rounders of the 2019 NBA draft class. Last updated on August 28th of 2019, 13 of 30 or 43.3% had signed with Nike. The next highest category was undetermined at 10 of 30, followed by Adidas 4, Pumas 2, and New Balance is 1. And like I mentioned earlier, it matters more of who signed with Nike versus how many players they signed, and they won in both categories here. Utter domination from start through finish. Comment your opinions down below. More Topic Tackle coming soon. Stay solid, people.